Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to Real World Magic, where we make your life more magical. My name is Neil Trigger, I'm going to be your magical host, and unless you've been living under a rock recently, you will know that tomorrow, the 31st of October, is Halloween. That's why I've been doing videos like this, and like this. Linked up here. Now as part of those videos I use real pumpkins like this to make a mould. Now this one was a really cool pumpkin that I thought I would use for part of that but it was eventually a bit too big. The other thing is that it's got a very flat side just here which normally wouldn't be very good for carving pumpkins but for what I want it's perfect. So in this video I'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin in a slightly different way. So let's get into it. Now because this pumpkin's a little bit funny shape like this. What we're going to do instead is to lay it flat on its face like that and then carve the face in here using the stem as a nose. So we start out by grabbing a sharpie marker or any other kind of marker, it's absolutely fine, and then just start sketching out the eyes. It's best if you go with the grain of the pumpkin, I'm not sure whether that's the right terminology, but these crinkly bits just here go with that to make him kind of squinty and a bit angry looking. Now I started out giving him a bit of a grin like this, but it just didn't look right. So I decided he's got to be a grumpy guy. With a nose like that and a scrunchy up face, he's got to be grumpy. So I just turned the corners of his mouth down. If I had my time again, I'd probably do that mouth all over again. And now it's time to gut the thing. So you put a hatch at the back in a totally different place to how you would normally put the hatch. And then you start carving out the eyes. Now you make sure that you do not go all the way through, but you just reveal the flesh underneath. Now this is a bit fiddly. If you're not an adult, get an adult to help you. And then you cut out some of the mouth to reveal the teeth like this. Carve out each individual tooth. Be a bit careful because sometimes they can break. And then it's time to grab the acrylic paints and a paintbrush and start painting in the pupils. This is when this little chap comes to life. So be very careful, take your time, and it will be worth it in the end. So here we are at the end. Ugly little spud, isn't he? Exactly what you want. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate every like and every subscribe. Please do click that bell button to be notified if you're already subscribed. And if you're not already subscribed, why not? Come and join us. It's awesome. It's really good fun. And I've got loads of other stuff planned, not only for the rest of this year, but also going into next year. Honestly, my list is huge. So thanks very much for watching. Oh, and before I forget, we have got a winner for the stickers, which I know I've forgotten in the last couple of videos, but we are going to do it. And the winner is Andy Kerslake. So well done for you. Thank you very much. You're the first one to comment. I'm going to be sending that out to you as soon as possible. I'm just going to have to get in contact with you, get your address, that sort of stuff. So thanks very much. Please do comment below as well. You never know, I might even give something away. I might. I probably won't, but I might. Um, thanks very much again. Please do like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, stay magical.